Our meat birds are coming tomorrow, so that means today is going to be super busy. We had to get the quail moved out of the stress-free chicken tractor and moved into their temporary pen in the barn. First, we have to clean out this coop. Now we need to move in the quail. So we have a couple of breeders that we're gonna use for these meat chicks. We've got this, I think it's actually a fish pond. We got it at an auction, but it's pretty big. It's got some high walls. And I think a lot of our chicks will fit in there. We'll throw in some wood chips and get it all ready for them today. And then this brooder is where we had our quail when we first got them. And then um, our single chicks that we hatched out, we kept those in there. But we're gonna clean it out today and we're gonna split the chicks between these two brooders until they are big enough to go on grass. Careful with that. Hey, don't do that. Don't put holes in that. Alright, I think that's enough. Wait, I think that's enough. Okay. Okay, we do. Put some over there. Oh gosh. Careful. Okay, though. We've got a ton going on here at Arrow Ridge this spring. So tonight, that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm prioritizing. I'm gonna go over what we've got going on right now. So this is my spring to-do list. We still have a tiller that is not working. So that's my first and foremost priority. Second priority is garden, getting the garden tilled. So now my third priority is we have chicks. I think tomorrow is, is when they're coming. So Jesse did a lot of the legwork today on getting ready for chicks, but one of the things I need to do is convert the stress-free over to summer. Right now we have it completely wrapped, so you get the greenhouse effect. So it's really heating up. Well, it's still not safe to keep chicks in there. If it is warm enough, we will get them out on grass. So probably by week two or three, they'll start going out on grass if we're getting overnight temperatures warm enough. And we'll keep them close enough to the house where we can run a heat lamp in there overnight if need be. Then number four is chicken tractors. I have four weeks to get that done from today. Basically, I'm giving myself four weeks to do that. Um, and if we can get them out on grass sooner, we will, but um, give, give myself four weeks. I know I have time that can float up and down. So then number five is pig pen. Um, that's just something that I know is on my radar. I've, I think early May, oh, pig pen, <laughs> pig pen, pig pig. It'll probably be early May, late April before we do that, but uh, before we get pigs. I'm still working on sourcing pigs right now. This year I'm not particularly worried about the breed. We're not breeding these. I'm looking for more of the boxy uh, 50 style pig, not a feeder pig in the sense of what would be used in a commercial operation. So that's the kind of pigs I'm looking for. We're gonna to go to a couple sales. 
Uh, I know, I, and then I've, I'm going to knock on a couple doors. Um, I don't like to do that. I'd rather have the introduction made. But you never know. Sometimes people will be perfectly open to selling you pigs. There is a local farmer that I know raises pigs. I don't know him, but I am probably just going to knock on his door or try to find a phone number for him and see if he would be willing to sell me some pigs. Number six, which is probably going to float above pig pen or be... In this four, five, and six are all gonna be movable. I'll just work on them when I have time. We need to get a gate in our fence. So there's my first quick six. That gets me a good start. And as I scratch one off or erase one, something else will come up. When I feel overwhelmed, it helps to put this on paper and say, okay, I really only got six major things that I need to go do. And I have a limited amount of time during the week to do it, but I have the weekends. And here lately, we've been having really, really nice weekends. So hopefully that trend continues. You got a lot? That's 14. Holy cow. 15, 16, 17, 19. I didn't know we had that many layers. Uh-oh, 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 hey. Wait. seedlings in the greenhouse are doing. It actually got up to over 100 today in the greenhouse. It was super hot. It was probably 80, 85 today outside. The kids said it was about 115 in the greenhouse today. So we're going to check on the seedlings. we got some more growth going on with the peppers. And then over here we got some tomatoes coming up. And then our cucumbers are really popping. And then look what happened with our green beans. Some of them got a little bit too hot, I think, today. I think I planted them when I shouldn't have. We usually put them in the garden just directly. I just wanted to get a head start. I thought that we'd have the garden tilled by now but it isn't working so we have to wait a little bit so i'll probably just replant these directly in the garden um after this weekend we're supposed to get maybe a freeze this weekend it was 80 degrees today and it's supposed to be freezing this weekend so we'll have to wait but we'll definitely go ahead and start some more seeds to have them ready um for when we do have the garden up and going and the temperature is right for planting as he was tilling and we found some garlic that had come up from last year. I thought we had picked it all, but I guess not. So he's gonna mow around that garlic so it'll stay in there and get bigger. He's so nice. We are super excited about getting our meat chicks tomorrow. We can't wait to show you them. Thanks for coming along with us today. If you haven't subscribed, why not? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscriber button and keep up with everything that we're doing here at Arrow Ridge. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.